What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Sonia and I love everything luxury beauty and one of the beauty brands that I follow is Chanel. Chanel is an expensive brand and it just came out with really beautiful but expensive bronzers and I bought one so I want to put it to the test. This is the bronzer. I'll put it next to my face just for reference sake. It's huge. This is the Le Beige Oversized Healthy Glow Sun Kissed Powder. This is supposed to be a bronzer for the face and the body. It has a net weight of 0.53 ounces or 15 grams. It has an 18 month shelf life and there's currently three shades. I'm gonna be honest, when I saw the shades, I wasn't sure which one to get because all of them look a little similar. Like there were some slight nuances here and there, but it looked more like undertone nuances to me than actual shade nuances. Now, of course, I can't speak from experience. I didn't get to swatch them, but just from the photos alone and from the photos I saw on Instagram, they looked so similar, so I had a hard time finding what shade I wanted. I'm a light medium when it comes to my skin tone, so I figured let's just go with the medium. I felt, I felt it was like a safe bet. And this is the component that it comes into. It is, it is stunning, it's huge, it's very, very nice. It looks very luxurious, and of course it's the inside, there's a plastic cover over here so when you take the cover off this is the medium bronzer in the shade sunkissed i'm a little embarrassed to show you guys this but this is the original soleil tan de chanel i got this when i knew that they weren't going to sell these anymore they were going to reformulate and actually i got this one was like the last one in the store and i still haven't gotten rid of it i just can't but this is a side-by-side -side of the two. I feel like these are going to be very close in shape match. I want to swatch them next to each other because if this one is a sort of a dupe for the original Solitaire de Chanel, then maybe it's time for me to get rid of this. This does smell exactly the same. So let's first dip our finger in it. It feels less emollient than the original Solitaire de Chanel, but it feels creamy. And let's swatch it on my arm. Now I dug my finger in the middle of it all and the embossing is near to gone. So don't get this for the embossing. When you see the shake comparisons, I actually think that this is very close to original Solitaire de Chanel. It's also very similar to some of the other bronzes that I have. Like I actually think I got a really good shade for me. Before I start applying, let me just tell you what I have on my face. I already demoed this a few times, so I didn't want to demo this this time around, but I have on my face the Le Beige Eau de Tinte or Fresh Water Tint. I of course have put concealer on my face I've done my brows and I already put some mascara on so I don't look too dead I got the Rouge Allure L'Extra Chanel sample in the shade Rouge Poisson number 854 let's just start applying it on my face I'm gonna go in with my favorite bronzer brush and I'm gonna hope for the best I reserved a lot of space also on my eyes and on my face just to put this bronzer everywhere and really put it to the test so let's put my brush in this. Ooh. Okay, so this brush, there is a lot of kickback. It's a sun-kissed powder embossed with iconic rounded square housed in an XXL version of the emblematic Le Beige Compact, an ultra lightweight cream to powder texture for creating a natural bronze look. Applied to the face, body, and décolleté. The composition is a combination of pigments with light reflecting agents for a sun-kissed healthy glow effect. A fine, silky, comfortable texture thanks to a blend of ceramic powders and emollients. I'm going to switch to a softer bronzing brush. This is more of a bronzer contouring brush by Morphe. I'm going to go in with an eyeshadow brush. Why don't I just contour my nose with it? It's a little warm for nose contouring, but I don't care. This is just for the demo. Then let's take a bigger brush and let's use some for my neck area. Let's go in with this sample. I'm really interested to try this one. For those that don't know what this component looks like, I have a video on two of the 
Rouge Allure Luxe Stray lipsticks. I don't know how to say the actual name. They're these refillable Chanel lipstick. And you can get a refill. The component is so beautiful. I It's probably one of my favorite components. I admit it's not my favorite formula. It's a great formula, but it's just not my favorite. But it's just, it's a solid lipstick. It's a little pricey because the refill is as much as a normal Chanel lipstick. Um, so therefore, I have a hard time recommending it, even though I do like the colors that I got. Since I got this one in a refill and I got a little brush with it, why not try the refill of this one? Then at least you get to see this on my face demoed. Maybe you like the color. Lastly, I do want to go in with my Rev de Camellia highlighter. Mine is so beat up. This one hasn't made its debut on my channel yet, but I do want to use it. Before I use it though, I do want to zoom you guys in just so you can view the bronzer as is. It's supposed to be a glowy bronzer and therefore I don't want to muddle it up with my highlighter powder. Alright guys, so to finish up the look, let's put on some of the highlighter and let's talk about the bronzer. Okay guys, so here are my final thoughts of my first impressions on this bronzer. First off, I think I look really good. I actually really like looks like this where it's just complexion, mainly complexion, a little bit of mascara and a bold lip. I'm really into this kind of style of makeup right now although i love reviewing eyeshadow palettes i gravitate lately towards my single or duo shadows more than a full-blown palette if you're looking at the color there is some warmth to this bronzer which i actually really like i think that the la beige collection i'm gonna expect a bit of a warm bronzer what i also like about this is that it does it doesn't show like it has a sheen, but if you see my close-ups, you do see that this bronzer gives a little bit of a glow. It does state that in the description, and I wholly agree that it does do that. It's actually very beautiful, very natural looking, and I love the way that it applied on the body as well. I kind of like blended it in, and it looks beautiful. I, I think it looks healthy. It looks like the healthy glow, exactly like it was described. I love the mirror size of this. I could just see my full face with this. Um, it's pricey. And when I look at the original Solitana Chanel, this one has twice the net weight compared to the newest bronzer in their collection. Uh, this one I got, I think, for 50 euros, and this one is 75, so that's a huge difference. The pigment in this is really beautiful. I think that the bronzer color is really nice for my skin color. I'm a light to medium skin tone, so if you're around my shade, this might be a good one for you. Uh, I don't know what else to say about this. So far, I think it performed really nice, and I think it looked really nice. It did what all the claims said it was going to do. You saw my comparison swatches of the bronzers that I have currently in my collection. So all in all, not a bad bronzer. And if you were looking at this and you wanted to buy this, so far I would recommend it. I have one concern, um, and I'm not sure if it's a valid concern just yet, but if you look at the center of my bronzer, my concern is that I wonder if this is a bronzer that potentially would get hard pan. And if it is, I would get really pissed just because of the price. So it, I'm not saying it has hard pan yet, but just because I looked at the center and it feels like it's darkening at the center and that's where I kind of did my swatching and like put my brush. Yeah, I was a little bit afraid of that. Secondly, I know it says it's a cream to powder formulation. It feels very buttery when you touch it. I don't think it unnecessarily performs like a cream at all just because it feels very buttery. I think it's just a very soft formula and maybe they put some emollients in it. But to me, I do say that this would be more of a powder than a cream. Whereas the Soli Tan Chanel is of course a full-blown cream. It's very tacky. But both of them have the same shelf life. So both of them have an 18-month shelf life. So just because this one has more of a powder finish than this one like this one is more of a cream both of them have the same shelf life i wouldn't necessarily call them dupes or buddies or anything i do think that this is sort of an updated version and i do like the size of it all lastly just a little bit about this lip color i think this lip color is stunning 
and if you are interested in getting one of the Le Rouge Allure Luxe lipsticks and you want to see what this color looks like on someone demoed this is what the color looks like also check out my other video of course to see the other colors I'll make sure to link it at the end of this video I'm gonna end the video here guys I don't think I have anything else to say about the bronzer except for now I think it looks like a beautiful bronzer and it has my stamp of approval if you were interested in looking into it make sure to use one of my affiliates down below I'm a very small channel I'm not monetized yet and if you use one of my affiliates I do earn a little bit of commission and it would directly help my channel and of course the purchases that I'll do in the future so yeah please 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 if you want to buy this bronzer if you're interested um, I want to encourage you to use the affiliates down below also if you like this video make sure to like this video and if you have any questions regarding the bronzer or anything else that's on my face you can comment down below i'll make sure to comment back the best way that i can and i try to comment pretty swiftly lastly subscribe to my channel if you like chanel or if you like any of the other beauty brands that I follow, such as Charlotte Tilbury, Lisa Eldridge, Victoria Beckham Beauty, and Westman Atelier, I love some of these brands and I want to feature Chanel more on my channel. They're still coming out with such beautiful things and especially the Le Beige collection has always piqued my interest since the start. Anyway guys, before I start rambling on again, thank you guys all so much for watching. Have a really beautiful and great day. Bye.